Well, welcome back. A lot goes into staging an operetta, but with the right talent, music magic can happen. Mike Randall's looking at how Amherst High School is doing just that. Back at Kenmore West, when I played Stew Pot in South Pacific, I thought high school musicals were a pretty big deal. I still do. Amherst High School has stepped out of the box and onto the stage with a one-act operetta called Strawberry Fields. I fell in love with this piece, and I, at that time I said some year, somehow I would do it. Justin Pometlars is the producer and musical director. Because of COVID, he thought it might be a good time to use a smaller, more select cast for the annual school musical. You need a, the absolute uh, right cast of singers that can sing this level of operatic work. This is really typically not a high school type of piece. It's not musical theater. It's really bona fide opera. The show's being recorded professionally by JPV Productions and will be released June 11th. You can go to amherstschools.org to purchase tickets. Goodbye, John. We miss you. It's not the same without you. There are 14 students in the orchestra and 19 on stage. And unlike those huge Broadway musicals, there are no big dance numbers. Max Witten, a senior, says that's not a bad thing. It's different. I definitely miss the, the big dance numbers, but it, there are some unique things we got to learn to do this year. Uh, a lot more solo singing. And while the pandemic has pushed many theater productions to go virtual only, the good news is that all the students, moms and dads will get to see the show live right here at the high school. The district approved us once the protocols were allowing that to happen. It's a limited audience of 100 people per house. Um, so the kids get to perform for their moms and dads. I think the excitement is really building. It's not the typical run of the mill high school musical, that's for sure. And that's probably a good thing. They have exceeded all expectations. High school opera, what's not to love? In Amherst, Mike Randall, 7 Eyewitness News.